In this chapter, we shall learn about the trigonometric ratios of obtuse angles. Let us start off with a quick recap. What do you call the angle that is between 0 degree and 90 degree? Yes, we call it the acute angle. What about the angle that is between 90 and 180 degree? Yes, we call it the obtuse angle. Finally, the angle that is more than 180 degree and less than 360 degree will be called the reflex angle. And in this topic, we shall learn how to find the trigonometric ratios of obtuse angles. Can you evaluate the following? Sine 30 degree, by pressing the calculator, we will have 0 0.5. Next, sine 180 degree minus 30 degree will be equal to sine 150 degree. And by pressing the calculator, we will have 0 0.5 as well. Next, sine 60 degree will be equal to 0 0.866 rounded off to three significant figures and sine 180 degree minus 60 degree will give us by pressing the calculator we will have 0 0.866 as well do you notice any similarity between these examples given any angle theta sine theta will be equals to sine 180 degree minus theta. For example, sine 30 degrees will be equal to sine 150 degrees. Sine 60 degree will be equal to sine 120 degrees. The trigonometric ratios of the acute and the obtuse angles are equal. Let's look at the examples for cosine. By pressing the calculator, cosine 30 is equal to 0 0.866 rounded off to three significant figures. Cosine 180 minus 30, which is equal to cosine 150, is equal to negative 0 0.866. Next, cosine 60 equals to 0 0.5, and cosine 180 degree minus 60 degree, which is equal to 120 degree, is equal to negative 0 0.5. Do you see any patterns for these numbers here? Yes, given any angle theta, cosine theta is equal to the negative of cosine 180 degree minus theta. Or negative cosine theta is equal to cosine 180 degree minus theta. Let us look at why this is so. Given a circle here with radius r and an acute angle theta here, we shall name the height of this right angle triangle y and the base of this right angle triangle x. And therefore, sine theta is given by opposite over hypo, which is y over r. Cosine theta will be equal to adjacent over hypo, which is x over r. Now what happens when this angle becomes obtuse? Given an obtuse angle here, we will have this triangle with height y and the base negative x. Because on this side of the x-axis, the values are all negative sine 180 degree minus theta will be equal to opposite over hypotenuse which is equal to y over r and cosine 180 degree minus theta will be the adjacent over hypotenuse which is negative x over r and once again looking at these four trigonometric ratios two of which belongs to acute angle and these two belonging to obtuse angle we see that sine theta equals to sine 180 degree minus theta and cosine theta equals to negative cosine 180 degree minus theta. Now let us see how to apply this using some examples. How do we find 
sine angle ACB. To recall, sine angle ACB is a trigonometric ratio and we will use sine theta equals to opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite is the 12cm and the hypotenuse is the 13cm. And the trigonometric ratio is 12 over 30. At this point, it is important to note that you do not need to solve this equation to find angle ACB because the question only asks you to find the trigonometric ratio sine angle ACB and not the angle ACB. Next, we are asked to find sine angle ACD, which is the obtuse angle here. And to recall, sine 180 degree minus theta is the same as sine theta. Therefore, sine angle ACD is the same as finding sine angle ACB, which is opposite over hypotenuse, and we will have 12 over 30. To find the trigonometric ratio of cosine ACB, we will need to use adjacent over hypotenuse. And this is the adjacent. Well, this length here is the hypotenuse. And we will have 5 over 30. And cosine ACB will be equal to 5 over 30. Next, we are asked to find cosine angle ACD, which is this obtuse angle here. Since cosine 180 degree minus theta is equal to negative cosine theta, we can find the trigonometric ratios of this obtuse angle by using the negative of the trigonometric ratios of this acute angle. What this means is that cosine angle ACD will be equal to finding the negative of cosine angle ACB. Since Cosine angle ACB is equal to 5 over 13. Cosine angle ACD will be negative 5 over 13. In summary, given an angle theta, the trigonometric ratios for the acute angle and obtuse angles of sines are the same. While the trigonometric ratios for the acute angle and the obtuse angle of cosine are negative of each other. If theta is acute, then 180 degree minus theta will be the obtuse angle. Vice versa, if theta is obtuse, then 180 degree minus theta will be the acute angle. And it does not matter which is acute or which is obtuse. This relationship will still hold. And that's all for this topic.